And then uh, this is an audio and video test from the Laxi Hub directly. Back with another video. Today we are going to show a review of the Laxi Hub P2 smart Wi Fi camera. You may remember recently I did an unboxing and setup of this camera. I've been using it for uh, about a week or so, I'd say. I know it's in my hand right now, but we actually, actually put it right here so that my queen could look at the dog when he's downstairs because she likes to do that. But we're going to take a look at the app. Uh, we're also going to take a look at some of the Google Home and Alexa integrations, as well as the mic and video quality that you get uh, from this little camera. So let's get right into it. First, make sure you click that like button, click subscribe, and check out indulgeclothing.com for the merch. Now uh, let's review the Laxi Hub P2. All right, so as always, first things first, let's go and check out the app. Still have the app right over here. There's the name, I'm not even gonna try to say it. And as you can see there, now it tells me the app is running. Now, this app does want to run all the time in the background of your phone. So, uh, first things first, down here at the bottom, you've got a couple of buttons. You've got, you've got home, messages, scenes, and me. Messages is uh, like your sharing history, if you share the camera with somebody. Your alarm messages, which my living room two camera, these are like all the different alerts and stuff that have happened. Basically the dog walking in and out and us walking in and out of the back door. And then system messages, which I haven't had any system messages. Now if you go down here to scenes, this is where uh, you would need to have more Laxi Hub type products like smart bulbs and smart switches, which I don't have any of those, I just have this one camera. The me section here uh, is where you can share the device, your albums, FAQ, online help, and settings. If we go into settings, here's a list of the few settings that they actually have. And then also you can go up here and uh, this is where you get to your profile where you can change your photo, reset your password, stuff like that. Now uh, to add a new camera, you click your plus sign here, which I showed you in the setup video. And as you can see, the cameras, you just go by whichever one yours looks like doorbells, battery camera, floodlight camera, smart lighting, and smart socket. Now, if you click on the camera, you can kind of hear that uh, feed. Let me turn my volume down. So uh, this is the live view of the camera. Uh, you can see your signal strength here as well. And then if you tap this little button here at the bottom, this is how you can make the camera look down, look down, or look up, or even left to right. It should come over here and look at me. There. And it's very quiet. There's no, um, there's no real sound from it. All right, uh, then you can take a picture right here. Like that just snapped a photo for us. And uh, if you wanna record a video, now it's recording a video. Uh, you can use this microphone here to talk into the camera. Hello, hello. Not, not too shabby, that was actually pretty loud. Now, when you're, when you're in the camera settings, you get new buttons here at the bottom. So live, history, brings you to a history view. Now it's interesting this says SD card, because there is no SD card in this camera, there is not even an option for one. You can uh, click on your little calendar here though and go back to different days if you want to. An album is uh, like that little clip that I recorded earlier in the photo I took. Now if you go into settings, you have uh, receive alert notifications, uh, device share, device information, IP address, signal strength, etc. Uh, installation guide, basic functions, network indicator, privacy protection, you can flip the screen, the night mode, alert settings, noise detection, and motion detection. I have noise detection turned off, but you can easily flip that on if you want. Recording management, uh, if it had an SD card, you could do full day recording, it does not, so you can only do event recording of up to one minute. And uh, again, I don't even, I guess it's just how they make the app, but this model does not have an SD card location at all. And then down here, you even have uh, Amazon Echo, gives you some instructions of how to connect it to Alexa, and Google Home also gives you instructions of how to connect it to your Google Assistant. Alexa, stop. God, she's so terrible. O-N-F-I-T settings, only support, I don't even know what that means. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And then lastly, you can delete the vice. So that's kind of it for the settings on the actual camera. Let me set up the camera here by the Laxi Hub and uh, get you a little video recording of uh, the audio and the mic and things like that.
And you see what I mean by there's no sound. This thing is completely quiet looking up and down. Very nice. Great for if using this for a child. This is the microphone test on the Lexi Hub, the P2. And then uh, this is an audio and video test from the Laxi Hub directly. And there's a little alert you get whenever there's motion. And so to add this into your Google Home app, just uh, go into Google Home, click Add, type in the name of the app, and then of course link it to your Google Home. And of course it works the same way for Alexa, just go in, search for that app name and you'll find it. Allow me the living room camera too. Okay. And there you go, waiting on the app, and boom, there's the doggy. Show me the living room camera too. Sorry, it looks like the living room camera isn't available right now. I'm pretty certain that'll work, it's just I just added it and it keeps changing the number 2 to T-O and that's not what it's named so it's not going to like that. You'll want to make sure you don't do that, but of course, if yours is just named living room camera, it shouldn't have an issue at all. And truthfully, I think that will about do it. Now, from what I can see here, there's really no issue with this camera. The issues that you saw with the Google Assistant was strictly due to the name. Smart home devices only work if the name is correct and then if it recognizes the correct name, probably because I just added the device like 30 seconds ago, it's, it just doesn't know the name. But as you saw, it worked on Alexa, and again, as long as you don't have the number two at the end of your camera, and it's just called like living room camera, I don't see you having an issue at all. The only thing I dislike about this camera is it does not have a micro SD card, so it relies on the cloud storage, which really, I just realized this is still going. Stop streaming. But for the price, if you're looking for a good baby monitor or even a home security camera, the Laxi Hub P2 will get this done for you. It's not very expensive and it has all the nice pan and tilt looking up and down left and right type of features. And with the cloud storage, you'll get all the notifications on your phone. You can look at everything right away and you can even integrate it in with your Alexa and your Google Home. Which for me, that's always a big thumbs up. Truthfully, after using this thing for about a week, the only complaint I have is that there's no SD card, but I believe other cameras that they make do have SD cards, it's just this one specifically doesn't. Which to me, if you're willing to use it for like home security, having something for it to physically record to, in my opinion, is always better than just relying on your internet connection in the cloud. So in the end, I think that will do it for the Lexi Hub P2 review. I definitely would give it two thumbs up. Absolutely no complaints other than the SD card, which to a lot of people that is not an issue. A lot of people really like the cloud. So so in the end, no reason really to not get one of these if you're in the market for a type of camera that does this, the tilting and looking up and down. In my, in my opinion, it's really best for like a baby monitor. I think that'd be the best thing it's for. I will definitely leave a link below in the description to Amazon if you'd like to pick one of these up for yourself. And that should do it for this video. If you can, click the like button for me, click subscribe, and indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com to get some of the merch, and we'll see you in the next video. Deuces.